So I think I'm the only person in the world who's doing a van build and using a solid stone resin shower tray in their van. I don't know exactly how much it weighs, but I wouldn't be surprised if that weighed 20 plus kilos on its own. Weighs an absolute ton. So the other snag that I ran into was that the shower tray isn't 700 by 900, which is what I planned the whole shower around, but it's actually about 715 by 915, which is really annoying, and I don't know why they wouldn't specify that on the product description when I bought the tray. It just said 700 by 900. So I had to cut out some of the, the framing of the shower to make the shower tray fit, which wasn't really too much of an issue, but it would have been handy to have known that in the beginning, so I didn't have to do any of this. I've come to a little bit of a standstill though, because I need to drill the hole in the shower tray for the ventilation pipe for the toilet but I can't do that until I've got the uh, ply on the wall and the shower panelling because I'm not going to know exactly where the toilet's going to sit until that's on. I've got the ply which I can screw on and I've got a sample of the panelling coming in the post. I'm hoping it's going to arrive today. I don't know how big it is but I'm hoping that it's enough to put on the wall and tell me where I need to drill the hole for the toilet because I can only do that the once so I want to make sure that that hole in the shower tray is in the exact position it needs to be. But this is where we're at with the shower tray at the moment. This is everything that's going underneath it. But basically we've got the main water pipe that comes across this way and then that will tee off to the cold water feed for the taps and then that goes to the water heater. This is the heating pipe that goes to Joss's kind of bedroom at the back. So that basically provides heating to the whole back of the van. Uh, we've got some cables going to the engine battery and the socket and and whatever else is kind of going there. Cut the cables, and then we've got the sink waste, the shower waste, and then that hole there, that's for the ventilation for the toilet. So there's quite a bit going on there. I did originally have just three bits of timber across here, but I cut out the front two and made kind of like two squares so that I can gain access underneath the shower tray if I ever need to. Perhaps this will come loose or something, I don't know, and I need to be able to get under there. So that's why I did that. But essentially we're going to have this sheet of ply screwed down on top of these, a bit like this front bit here, and then the shower tray will glue on top of that with some silicon, and then that will be permanently fixed. I won't be able to, to get that up again. And then down the sides we're going to have ply board, a bit like the back here, so that's going to go down and sit on top of the shower tray, and then we're going to have the wall panelling that's going to be glued to that as well. So once the shower is in, it's going to be very much a permanent thing. I don't really want to have to access anything under the shower tray once it's down, so I just want to make sure that everything is as it should be. With a bit of luck though, that sample for the shower panel should arrive today, and then I can measure up where the toilet's gonna to go, cut the hole for the toilet. Um, and then yeah, hopefully we can get the shower base and everything under there kind of permanently fixed. That'd be really good. And then it's just the kind of panels and bit of silicon. And I'm also still waiting for the mixer valve for the shower as well. So I don't really want to ply that side of the wall until that's in. So yeah, I'm kind of a little bit stuck at the moment, but yeah, hopefully that arrives today so then I can carry on with the shower base. So we finally, got the the sample for the shower panels. I think this is plenty big enough just to kind of line up where the toilet's gonna go so we can drill the hole for the ventilation pipe. Hopefully this will give you some sort of idea as to what it's gonna look like when it's finished. So I've put the ply up the wall there and then that will just literally just glue on the wall. So they'll just be white and sparkly and, and really nice. We've also got this template for the toilet. So this will tell us exactly where to drill the hole where it needs to go so if I just kind of have that up against the wall and then use this template to go something like that and then I can figure out exactly where where it needs to go I think we're quite lucky though because where that hole is it's just inside this lip here where that kind of goes up because that would have been really annoying to cut through that so I think that that's going to work quite well. Also, this needs to come off the wall slightly as well because it's going to have adhesive on the back. So I think I need to allow a couple of mil for that. So if I have that flush 
and then that there and then if I mark it just maybe a couple of mil away because I'd rather be too far away from the wall and kind of make up that ground rather than be too tight because then that won't work um, so yeah that's that's the idea anyway <laughs> So I think it's safe to say everybody that we're officially halfway through fitting our bathroom, which apart from the floor is the last thing that we need to do in the whole van build, I think. I can't think of anything else. Everything went pretty smooth though. It was a bit awkward getting the, the vent pipe through the shower tray and through the floor at the same time with the weird angles, but we managed to get there. Everything fits fine, the hole's in the right place, Nothing is broken, nobody's injured. And yeah, I think we're all good. Next job on the list then is going to be fitting these shower panels and fitting the mixer tap when that arrives. I'm hoping that'll be this week. If it doesn't arrive this week, then I'm gonna be really disappointed. I would be really interested to know how heavy this van is now because I've added quite a lot of weight to it. I don't think it's over limit. I don't think it's close to being over limit, but it'd be quite interesting to know how heavy it is. There's no public weigh bridge around here. I think your vehicle gets weighed when you do an MOT, but the MOT is not due until October, so might have a bit of a wait until then. It still drives great though. The van drives really well. You can feel the weight in it when you're driving, but it doesn't really impact the way that it drives. It's not like sluggish or anything, so that's good. I'm gonna have a massive tidy up anyway, because I've got just bits of rubbish absolutely everywhere. When I was trying to feed that pipe through the tray and everything, I was just like throwing things everywhere because I was getting so annoyed with it. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a tidy up to do. You can fit a stone resin tray into your camper van if you want to, and you can drill holes in it as well, but make sure you use a diamond tipped hole saw though, because otherwise I don't think it would work. But I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did. We'll catch you guys in the next one where we'll be one step closer to finishing this van build. So until then, have a safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day, try not to spill anything, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,